one. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Katie, and today I am just gonna show off my New York Comic Con slash LA Comic Con haul, I guess, uh, for the last couple weeks. Uh, I got a few pops, not gonna lie. Um, so yeah, I didn't get all of them. I, I couldn't afford to get all of them, but I got a majority of the ones I wanted. Um, so I'm just gonna show off kind of what I got. And you guys let me know in the comments below which pop is your favorite, which one I should have got. And yeah. So, and don't forget to hit the, hit the subscribe button below. All right, so the first pop I'm going to show off is a pop I got a really good deal on. Um, it, wa it, it went on sale at Walmart for $9. And I wasn't able to get it in time. But then it went on sale at Best Buy for $9. So I was able to get this one. Sorry for the glare. But this is Supreme Leader Kylo Ren in the Whisper. So, box is a little damaged, not gonna lie, but it's hard to ship pops like this in mint condition. I've never got a pop ride or anything like that that's been in mint condition that's this big. Um, but this will probably be an out of the box one anyway, just because it looks really cool. Um, but yeah, I got it for nine bucks at Best Buy. So this was a this was a pretty good deal. I was really excited about this one because I really wanted it, but I did not want to pay thirty dollars for it. So yeah, so pop number one. Uh, pop number two, I got. So like you guys know, I'm a big Disney fan, so I had to grab Donald Duck. Um, I actually ended up getting two of these because my mom is a big Donald Duck fan, so I had to get her one. But then Barnes & Noble did their, what is it, three for $20 or whatever it ended up being. So I grabbed them for myself, along with a few other pops while I was there. But, yeah, so I got this. got Donald Duck. Uh, the next one I got is Officer Freddy Funko Shop. Again, I'm getting into the Freddy Funkos. I really like Freddy Funko. Uh, I like the look of them, and I just think they're pretty cool. So I had to get Officer Freddy. You know, support the NYPD. It didn't go, the money didn't go to it, but you know, it's, it's the thought that counts. So, so yeah, so Officer Freddy. Uh, and then I got another one from the Funko shop, the Mandalorian. This is a super cool pop, and I am so excited for the show. I cannot even tell you. I have my three year subscription to Disney Plus. I'm ready to go. So, I'm just waiting for November 12th. But yeah, so Mandalorian, Funko shop. Uh, the next one I got, th this one, is Miss Marvel, another one from the Funko Shop. So I ended up, originally when I bought stuff from the Funko Shop, I ended up placing two orders. I bought Freddy Funko and Polly Pigeon in the black shirt was my first order. And then I went back and I ordered Miss Marvel, Mandalorian, and the other Polly Pigeon in the red shirt. Yeah, I'm kind of glad, I'm glad, because I got a lot of these Marvel 80 year pops. I have a lot of these. I don't have all of them, but I have most of them. So yeah, so I was happy to, to grab this one. I was glad I went back in and grabbed it. Um, so yeah, so that was a good pickup. Uh, Polly Pigeon. Obviously just mentioned him in the red shirt. So story. So these do not ship very well. Um, I don't know. You, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but there is a little bit of yellow paint on the window right there. Uh, and it's because he doesn't really sit well in the box. So in shipping, it bounces around and it, his yellow nose scrapes up the window. So when I got the black one, the black one, he wasn't even in the, the plastic mold inside the box anymore. He was upside down. The, win the window looked like it had been pecked from a bird on the inside. So a bunch of little holes in the window. Um... No, I wasn't really happy, obviously, because I really wanted all three of these. Um, but yeah, so I just responded to the shipping email that I got from Funko, and they responded within like two days. And they're sending another one. I haven't gotten it yet, but they're sending another one, and I get to keep the old one. So I think I'm going to take the other one out of the box. So great customer service by Funko. Not going to lie. Pretty happy with that. Um... So yeah, my other, uh, another, the last of my Comic Con haul to show off, New York Comic Con haul. The Sand Trooper, Target exclusive. Again, sorry for the glare, but this is a really cool pop. Um, 
I was really lucky to grab this because I just saw it one day. It popped up online and I just went ahead and grabbed it before anybody really knew that it went up. So I was really happy that I was able to get this one. Um, now for the LA Comic Con haul, I have one. I wasn't... I wasn't super impressed with all the pops that came out at LA Comic Con, not gonna lie. But I did have to grab Ghost Rider. Uh, so this pop is pretty darn cool. Cosmic Ghost Rider with little baby Thanos wrapped in change around his waist. Yeah, this one, this one might be an out of the box one just because it looks so cool. I kind of wish I would have grabbed two of them. But yeah, so this is a pretty cool pop. I'm pretty happy with that one. Um... One more. This is not a Comic-Con haul, but I am pretty happy with it because I'm a big Disney fan. You guys know Chef Figment from the Epcot Food and Wine Festival. So story, I actually did, I was actually in Epcot Labor Day weekend, went to the Food and Wine Festival before they released this. We, I came home, like two weeks later, they announced this pop. I was so disappointed. And then went up for sale in the Disney store. So I was able to grab it. I was so happy. Because Figment is my favorite character. And just add to it. I mean his cute little. Like look. He, his cute little chef coat. And a little food. It's like a taco and some cakes. Oh there's a drink on there too. Yeah. That's a cool pop. I was pretty happy with that one. So yeah. So I do have one more pop. That I kind of forgot about. I don't know how I forgot about it. It is from New York Comic Con. It was, if I had to get one pop from from New York Comic Con, this was the pop I had to get. It's my baby. It's in a hard stack. Iron Man with the gauntlet. My favorite character, obviously. I got the gauntlet, the big gauntlet right there. All the Iron Man stuff behind me. My favorite character. Had to grab it. In fact, I got two. So I have that one and a hard stack. And then the other one I bought, I took out of the box for my collection. So you guys can get an up close view of Tony Stark unmasked with the gauntlet. This is a pretty cool pop. And I am so happy that I was able to grab two. Look at that little baby gauntlet. Oh, so happy. Yeah, so favorite pop, favorite pop release from all the cons this year, this one pop. I was kind of disappointed it wasn't released at San Diego Comic Con, but at least it got released. Kind of wish I had some blood dripping down his face, but yeah, so this is my favorite one. So anyway, so that's my haul for Comic Con. Thank you guys for checking out this video. Again, hit the red subscribe button below. Leave any comments, questions. Let me know what you think of the video. What was your favorite pop from New York Comic Con or LA Comic Con or any of the cons this year? Which one's your favorite? And let me know why. And maybe I'll give you a shout out in the next video. All right. So hope you guys have a great day, rest of your day or night or morning or whatever it is whenever you're watching this. And I will check you guys in the next video. Later.